Hello guys and welcome to this next video for you by Mini Painting and I. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is a rundown of um, the assembly, the priming and the painting of Cypher. Which is the one of the models as the, this guy here on the left. And he's part of the box set of the Trivium of the Primark. Now this is Cypher on the sprue. Let me just take that back around away. And bring the right box in. So we can get a better look of what is on the spray. There you have his, um, his head with the, the plasma pistol and his, um, his uh, torso with his, uh, his legs, bulk on, and backpack. So, um, what I'm going to do now is take everything off the sprue and uh, do my sub assemblies and get this model primed. Okay, as you can see, I have the model off the sprue and primed in the Citadel Chaos Black, giving it time to dry. And after I've done that, I put it in together in their sub assemblies. So basically, um, you have the torso just with the leg glued on and the other part with the cape on the head with the with the other leg glued on. I love it. What do you what I've done was because, because I don't have any cork screws or anything, I just use like an old Citadel pot. Uh, I drilled a hole in the top of the pot and super glued uh, a paper clip in. And the same with the other one and then uh, I drilled a hole in the bottom of the cape or in around the back of the model here where it's not going to be seen. Um and what I used was uh, one of these precision drills. Uh, you get these quite cheap and they usually come with them um, bigger drill bits or smaller drill bits depending on what size of kind of um, holes you're trying to be doing. For example uh, I would use the smaller the smaller bits for um, bolt guns or bolt pistols whatever that's on Space Marines and if you're going like a bigger hole like a storm bolter or like a, a plasma gun or something um, you do have them bigger bits. All right. Uh, so the bits that I kept separate was the other part of his cloak and like a shoulder pad or pauldron that's going to be going over here on this side. I kept it off because it was going to obscure a bit of detail in around the torso so I left that off. Uh, the same with the backpack. There's a lot of detail in this backpack if I can just get it to focus a bit. A lot of detail in that backpack so I left that off as well. Uh, just to get that detail. Also, his um, his bolt pistol. It actually attaches. Uh, excuse me, my dirty fingers. Uh, the bolt pistol attaches in here, so I've left that off. Yet again, just to get some of the detail. And lastly, you have his hand. Now his hand will be coming across his torso, reaching for his bolt pistol, and that's going to obscure uh, a lot of this detail that's in around here. So I've left that off. So I'm going to be working in one, two, three, uh, six in total, six in total wee areas. Uh, so next what I'm going to do guys is, same as usual, I'm going to start off with the, the armour. Uh, I'm going to base coat that with um, uh, uh, a banton black. I can just uh, get that out. So I'm going to run over like a base coat of a banton black. Uh, I know it's already um, primed in black, but um, if you make any mistakes, it's going to show up, and whenever you go over that with the abandoned black, it's going to have a different finish to the Chaos Black Primer Spray. Um, after that, I am going to be doing a, a layer on the um, the armor, and it's going to be the Dawnstone. All right, guys. Um, so once the the, the band blacks on and the band blacks say uh, being dried, uh, I'll work um some of the the dawn stone in, and then uh, I think I'll do like a, a final highlight of like a an illustratum uh, grey, just in the just very select parts. All right, guys. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to go and paint the armor now and get it layered up. Uh, I'll show you the end result. Okay, guys. Uh, that's the black armor finished. Like I said, I went over after the, the, the primer layer of the Chaos Black. I went and done the um the abandoned black base 
give it a nice wee layer of that, nice and thin down. And then I followed it up with the, the Dawnstone. Let me just get that for you guys. The, the Dawnstone. And what I done with that there was I just went over and I dry brushed all over the raised areas. And then after I applied the Dawnstone, I just give it like a final wee highlight of the uh, Manistratum Grey. Just sort of like on the edge of his, uh, his toes there and stuff like that there. The sort of more areas that are sort of more stand out like his fingertips and stuff like that there. And after I applied that, I just went back over with a, uh, with a fine detailed brush and I thinned down uh, a bottom black again. Um, just to touch up them areas that were uh, roughed over by the dry brush. So you're just neatening up them areas again and I think you'll find that it gives a nice finish in the end. We're just trying to zoom in there a wee bit. Um, yeah, it does give a nice finish when you dry brush on and then you go back over the area again uh, with the small detail brush again. So uh, the next thing I'm doing, doing guys is I'm, go I'm going to move on to this cloak. Uh, I'm going to start on the the outside of this cloak first. And uh, I'll do a guide on that and then I'll start to work on the inside of his cloak. So the outside of his cloak is going to be basically what the box art has here. Um, which is going to be a base of Zandri Dush, a shade of Sophimia Sepia and a layer of Yashabdi Bone. Now that's all on the outside and the inside is going to be like a deep red. So I'm going to get to work on that cloak now guys. Okay guys. This is the outside of the cloak done. Uh, what I did was um, I went over the base with the zombie dust, uh, two coats of that, uh, with that to dry, and then I went over again with the new shabdy bone. Again, you're going to need two coats of this as well. Uh, after that, I used the uh, Sophia Sepia shade, and it was more select about um, where that shade went. Uh, take no notice of the, the, the sword area up here because that's where the, the sword is going to cover. Um, yeah, so it's more select about where the, the shade went and out there in the recesses and then down at the bottom of the cloak. And then uh, finally, I actually got some white scar and I uh, dry brushed the white scar on onto the, uh, the, uh, the berries that are standing out just to give it a more of a, a pop in the colour. So that is the finished product of the outside of the cape. Uh, now I'm going to go and work on the inside of the cape and give you a rundown. I might continue on further than that as well uh, onto, the, onto the plasma pistol. But um, uh, yeah, so the inside of the cloak next and then probably onto the plasma pistol guys. Okay guys. This is the next step that I went ahead and done. I done the inside of the cloak, and uh, as you can see, I have my base. I shaded, and then I layered with um, two paints. So, um, as you can see, uh, I base coated it with the with the corn red. Uh, two thin coats. Make sure that um, it's all covered. There's no real black showing through. And after that. I done a, a shade, like a heavy shade of the Agrax Earth Shade. Uh, just be careful that it doesn't really over pull in some areas. Just keeping an eye on that there while it dries. And um, after that's dried, I went ahead and I dry brushed on the, the Ephos and Scarlet. Uh, and the more raised areas and the, the, the edges of the cloak and stuff like that there. And um, as a final highlight, I used the, the, the Fire Dragon Bright. Just on sort of like the, the edges, the very tips of the cloak and stuff like that there. Uh, and where the, the folds are sort of more the, the hitting the light. Uh, yeah. So I'll try and give you a sort of better look of the, the, the cloak overall. Um, let me just try and zoom back in again. And as you can see, there's quite a few layers when it comes to the actual the inside of the cloak there. Okay. All right, so next we'll talk about the plasma pistol. So the metal on the plasma pistol uh, started off with uh, the base coat of uh, lead balser and shaded over with a non oil. Uh, then I went over uh, a layer with the rune breaker steel 
and then finally like an edge highlight of the rune bang steel let me just zoom out there and these are the four of the actual metal itself now for the the more sort of goldy kind of colored parts of the platinum pistol i use the balthazar gold as my base uh, agrax earth shade for the shading and then a Hushut copper uh, for like the, the layer of the highlight instead of going for more gold I thought it actually looked a bit more nicer to have a more of a coppery kind of look okay so uh, I'll talk about the glow effect okay so the glow effect on the plasma pistol used three paints here now it was already primed with the black um, afterwards uh, I put down uh, uh, the uh, Sotac green as uh, you can see it on the left uh, so that green as your base colour uh, I know it says layer but put down two thin coats and it's good for base for this glow effect after that I layered on top with the, the temple card blue and um, this is a final like edge highlight I used the Baharoth blue you'd be, you'd be very very careful use a very fine detailed brush so you're sort of hitting them uh, the wee, tiny raised areas of the coils uh, and you're trying not to get any of that bother off blue in the recesses otherwise it sort of um it would ruin that and uh, also not just the coil but the wee symbol itself just on the plasma pistol just there um i put the sotac green in first and then uh, i put it on the tempo card blue on afterwards instead of just shading it with an oil okay guys Okay guys, so after them steps, I just decided just to go on ahead and finish off the, the complete model instead of doing every wee tiny bit, bits and pieces along the way, I thought that might just bore you. So, um, what I did talk about was the, the armour and the, the cloak and the plasma pistol. Uh, talk about his, uh, his face. His face was just uh, the standard stuff that I that they actually use which would be the um, the bugman's glow for your base and then you're shading over with the, the regular flesh and after that there you went over the top with the Cadian flesh tone and then you're highlighting with the Kislev flesh so that's what I used for the, the face and what else was there there was the there was all the wee skulls uh, throughout the uh, throughout the armour and uh, what I used for them was, I think it was a base layer of the Administratum Grey. And then I went over the top of them with the Reichland Flesh Shade and then just a wee bit of the uh, Shabdi Bone as, uh, as a highlight for them. So that's they used for the skulls. Uh, and then the armour pieces like the top of the shoulder pad here was just, uh, I didn't want to go too bright with the, the silvers because I mean, when you look at this uh, character he is quite a, quite a, a, a gritty kind of character so I didn't want to go too bright with the metals and stuff metals are golds so I just done the base layer of the um, lead belcher and I went over with an oil and then just finished with a wee, with a wee dry brush of the iron breaker and uh, what else was there there was the um, the wee leather parts that are on his wristbands and stuff uh, what did I put with him? It was just a, a base layer of, I think it was Mornfang Brown. And then layering up over it with the, the Gorthor Brown. And sorry, before the Gorthor Brown, I would have used a, a shade of the, the Agrax Earth shade. Uh, let's see what else was there. And let's see, there was the wee, um, the Dark Angel symbol. Just in there, it was just a, basically uh, a corn red, and then Agrax or shade for the shade, and then uh, there was um, Wild Rider red as a highlight. Uh, the browns for the the the, um, the gold pistol casing was your more fine brown base, and then again went over with the Agrax shade, and then the Gothor brown as your highlight. Let's see what else was there. Move on to the sword on the back. Uh, yet again, the skulls were done with the um, administrative grey and then the, the right limb flesh shade and then the shabby bone. 
and any of the gold parts were your bottles are gold, uh, right and flesh shade, and then the gains uh, gold, just dry brushed over them. Uh, and you see there's the angel in the back. It was just um, it was a mixture of the wag flash uh, and a bit of the bottom black just mixed together, and then it was highlighted with the uh, wag green, and then we highlight tiny highlight of the, the moot green, and um, there was also the wings on the sword, uh, basically you're just building up your white um, with the administrative grey, and then shading over with the non-oil and then working in the uh, Ethereum grey and then we highlights of a white scar on top of that and then there's the black pack itself was just a uh, it was it was done along with the armor with your bottom black and then the, the other is highlights that I used and the battle parts again was just your lead belcher non-oil and then dry brushed over with the the arm breaker and the sword itself was the same as the symbol on the front of him, which was the corn red for base, uh, and then the agrax or shade, and then the uh, wild rider red for, or was that evil skin? No, it was wild rider. That was wild rider red. Sorry, as a as a highlight on the sword. So that is the 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 model itself. Uh, I'll talk about the base now. And I would have done with the base. I actually went and got a bit of slate from a wee bit of slate from the garden. And um I super glued it to super glued it to the the base. Let me see if I can get focused on that, sorry. There we go. Uh I super glued that to the base. Um what I done was um there was some kind of a it's like a snow kind of mixture basin that I have. I, I glued that all on. And uh, once that had dried, and the, the slate stone uh, was stuck to the base, uh, what I done then was I, I primed it in the, the Chaos Black. And um, after I primed it in the Chaos Black, I, I wanted to do something interesting with, with earth. I wanted it to look like it was really dried and um, really kind of hot underneath the surface. Uh, so what I done was I dry brushed on uh, oranges and uh, yellows, like Uriel yellow and the Troll Slayer orange and stuff like that there. I dry brushed that on uh, to the to the rough texture that was on the base. And after that I dried, I had went over it with uh, this, um, sorry, it's too bright, the texture paint, a Grillian Earth. And after it dried, the, the paint started to crack and then show through all the um, the oranges and yellows to look like the, the earth was really like hot underneath. I added some of the wee bits of shrubbery in as well. And I thought it fitting to add uh, a Dark Angel uh, shoulder pad that had been shot shot through. And um, for, the wee, for the wee stone, um, all I done... Uh, well, it was um, primed with the Chaos Black, so it was dry brushed over with uh, Administrative Grey and then uh, I put like a, a wee bit of a shade of the Agrax or shade on and then I highlighted it dry brushed over with the... What was it again? Um, Ethereum Grey. Yeah, Ethereum Grey was the, the final highlight on, on the stone itself. and. Uh, I think this model has turned out um, pretty well, and I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, let me know what you guys think yourselves, and uh, comment comment down there, please. And it's nice to know that people's watching my videos and liking it, and actually, uh, if they want to comment, not a problem. Uh, so please like and subscribe, guys. And the next video I'm going to be doing is is for the last model in the um, the triumvirate. Uh, let me just put in Gulliman here. So there's Gulliman. I have the two of them now finished. Uh, the last one I have to do now is the Grandmaster Voldus. Uh, so I'm going to go and get them um, started him on him now. So guys, please like and subscribe and comment if you like. Uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, Mini Painting and I. 
Uh, I'm also on Facebook under the same name, Mini Painting NA. Uh, I also have a, a website that's um, coming soon. Uh, it's not quite finished yet. Um, but it's also Mini Painting NA.co.uk. So I'll keep a post about that, guys. So thank you for watching.